All right, so one thing I like about polyspan or polyspan light is that it's here I had a patch it because of a big hole. But frequently if you just have a rip or a tear, you don't have to do that. Okay, here's what I do. So let me show you on the other side here. So here I have a rip I want to fix. And you can see there's some other tiny ones I already fixed. And uh, here it is. Here, let me get it. It's a, whoops, sorry. It's a puncture like that, okay? So what I do is I lift it up like this so it sits nice and flush. Then I take a, you know, type on that I've thinned about 50% with water, all right, like this. And I take a little brush after I've gotten it lined up. And I just put that around where the break is like this, okay? Whoops, probably too close there, all right? And you go, oh my god, there's quite a glob there, but it's mostly water. So then what I do is I uh, let it sit a little bit. Okay, it starts to evaporate and dry up. Like over here, I already did one. Then I might just touch it up a little bit, make sure it spreads. And then I'm going to show you, when it dries, you won't even see most of that. And basically, it rebonds together the uh, polyspan. I mean, it's great. I've done this with huge tears. I had one of my weight fields go through the trees and I had a whole bunch of these tears but I actually fixed all of them without having to do a patch. So I'll show you the next step when this dries. Okay, so the glue's dried. It's right over here. You can see it repaired the, you know, the tear. It's not uh, there anymore. And finally what you can do is you can re-shrink it. So here we go with the hot gun. And the patch as well. And there you go. It's nice and tight and smooth. You really can't even see it except there's a little glossy there. And if you want, you could just spray it lightly. And, uh, you know, so this is a nice way to fix tears without having to do the patch. Okay? All right, I just wanted to show you the end result. All right, so here's where I put the patch. You can't even see it. And here's where the puncture was. All right, I just sprayed it lightly. And I'm telling you, unless you look really, really close, it's not even visible, okay? So these are two nice ways you can uh, fix the polyspan. I only do the patch when I have to. The rest of the time I just use the glue technique I showed you and uh, you know, that works really nice.